Hey everybody. This video is long overdue. Uh, this is not going to be... I, I wouldn't call this a review. This is just going to be me talking about probably the crown jewel of my knife collection, the small Sabenza 21 Chris Reeve knife. Probably the closest thing to a custom knife that I have, even though some people refer to it as a production custom. So, I guess it's halfway there. And to start, people, when I first showed this knife, when I did the unboxing, asked if I was going to keep the lanyard on there. And as you can see, I have. The reason for that is I had Christian over at Freestyle Leatherworks, aka Big Bubba, here on YouTube, make me this black leather slip case. He was nice enough. He stamped that with a Lucky 13 for me. So, when the knife is in the case, which is how I keep it in my pocket, that lanyard is sticking out. So when I take it out of the case, I just simply give it a little pinch and pull on the lanyard. Otherwise the knife would be a pain in the ass to get out of that case. So yeah, I left the lanyard on there, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> the reason I went with the small 21 is I wanted a I wanted it to be my secondary knife but the 21 also has these the edges of the titanium are milled down all the way around they're not so squared off like the regular Sabenza which to me is just more comfortable in the hand I mean that that's pretty much it also I like how the blade really sinks down in the handle the regular so bends of the blade sticks up a little bit more and is probably comes out more like around this area before it sinks all the way down in there. Now this is the Freedom model, which is the which is a computer generated graphic. And what it is is this this one is the colored in version, which I guess is the normal version. However, they do have a reverse silver, which is instead of where you see the coloring, the coloring here. It's probably more like this. It's more dull, giving you the two-tone look. Uh, I went ahead, I went with this, with, with the coloring, because uh, I figured, what the hell, you know, why not? And the way they get the coloring in there is they actually run an electrical current through the knife, through, I guess, each of these little grooves. And the voltage of that electric current decides what the color is going to be, which I think is pretty pretty slick. That's high tech. So, yeah, you got the gold flagpole there, the blue field where the stars would be, the red stripes. Now, for those who have never ordered with Chris Reeves, let me tell you how the ordering process went. When I ordered this knife, I called up Chris Reeves, the company, specifically because this knife was not for sale anywhere online that I could find. And here's how the ordering process went down. I called him up. I told him I wanted the small 21 Sabenza Freedom model and I wanted the one that was colored in. I gave him my credit card information, my mailing address, and they actually told me they usually don't mail to uh, post office boxes, but I told him I did not want a knife this expensive going to my house and sitting on the porch. I said if they couldn't send to a P.O. box I, I just probably wouldn't place the order and they said that they would go ahead and just mail it out priority send it to the P.O. box. I guess normally they use UPS or something. <clears throat> hmm, excuse me. So <clears throat> once I told them what I wanted and I did uh, make sure I told them that I wanted the right hand open uh, that that was pretty much it. You do not get an order number, you do not get a confirmation number. They do not email or call you with any status of your order. It's simply you're waiting in limbo, waiting for your package to arrive. They they don't bill your credit card though until the item ships, which is good. Uh I guess that's probably pretty standard practice, I guess, but I did call twice to check the status of it because the whole no order number or no confirmation number thing just kind of worried me. 
But now that I've ordered with them, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with placing another order with them, which hopefully I can do sooner rather than later. And uh, when I first placed the order, they said it would take three to four weeks because basically your name gets put on a list and when they get to your knife, they get to it, make it, send it to you. However, for whatever reason, it took six weeks before I got the phone call. And yeah, for me, that was a feat, man, because I am not a patient person. I do not like to wait for things. I want them quickly. It's just how I am. Also, when I ordered this knife, I almost bought the titanium plug to do away with this clip here because since I knew it was going to be riding in the slip case, uh, here, might as well put that in the background, right? <clears throat> but I decided last minute not to, and I'm glad I didn't because being the small twin, uh, the small Sabenza, I do use that pocket clip to help me open the knife. And what I do is I have to have my pinky down here all the way at the very bottom and then just use my thumb obviously to open the knife up. Because if my middle finger is pushing on the pocket clip, pocket clip is going to be pushing on the lock bar which is going to be pushing on the blade and well it's not going to really open at that point. This knife has been opened and closed literally hundreds of times so it's much smoother now. When I first got this knife I literally had to push it down basically all the way to the left here. I had to push down and away instead of pushing up and out to open it. So that problem has resolved itself with a little bit of breaking in. Also when it comes to closing again I got to make sure my ring finger is down here at the bottom and none of my other fingers are pushing up here otherwise it's going to be kind of productive so when I close it it looks kind of like that push and my finger my index finger kind of comes up pushing the blade up and then it'll close of course the blade is centered it's a Chris Reeve knife and why wouldn't it be centered I mean it's what we've come to know and expect from Chris Reeves uh, fit and finish second to none excellent just a really simple design let me see here for those that just simply aren't familiar overall you're looking at about a seven inch knife with a blade with a cutting edge about 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. Of course it is S30V steel, or no. No it's not, it's a, uh, damn I should have brought the little card in here with me. I think it's at S35V, uh, it's, it's something a little bit different, but comparable, it is comparable to S30V. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. I, j I just had a few people who wanted to see a, to see a video of the Sabenza. And I told them I would make one, so here it is. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, and let me say this. About <clears throat> that calfskin pouch that this thing came with, I, I, I must say this. It just felt cheap to me. It was very thin, very flimsy, and I did use it one day when I carried this. And I could just tell that in no time this knife was going to tear that little slipcase apart. And that's why I had Christian make me this. Thick leather, much higher quality in my opinion. So if you're going to invest in one of these, you need to invest in one of these. So. There you go. Got a little bit of molding going on now that I've been carrying it. And that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Later.